Good morning. And welcome to another crypto crazy news bay with uh, the world will run on crypto. The world will run on crypto. You know it. It's being built right now. And a lot of, a lot of stuff's already running on crypto, but I'm going to go into how the whole world is going to run on crypto. Anyways, like and subscribe and leave a comment. It really helps out with our channel and help us grow. Anyways, we're going to go over, is it the dead end for NFTs? What do you think? Comment below what you think is going on with NFTs. Are they broke? Are they worthless? Are they going to be worthless in the future? What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. But um, I recorded this video a couple times. I can't read today. So let's see if I can do it with properly reading that may not happen but you know it's what i'm doing so blockchain uh this is an nft rundown by voice um blockchain tech is moving so fast can legislation keep up so basically this article is telling you that they're using some ai artificial intelligence to create the nfts which you know i've, I've been studying making nfts and uh has lips and a pup, couple other people have gotten the blockchains smart contracts and stuff you can edit it and tell it what to do and basically you were like they don't they're like ten thousand uh nfts but they don't sit there and make each item separately they make uh basically different hats different structures uh cigarettes joints all kinds of different stuff so what they do is like 10 by 10 like 10 you take 10 hats 10 something in her mouth 10 different colors 10 different structures and they put it in there so and they do 100 times 100 and that's 10,000 so they make it where it goes on rarities and stuff i guess and then basically it comes out as 10,000 items so and they're trying to say that who owns it the people that make the the, the AI or uh, just ass lips on it is he the one to write the codes do all these other ones that write the codes that own it I think that's an open product you know it's like for the public uses so I don't think they're not on it for that but if you like go in and take people's art, like you know some um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, I can't remember his name. But anyways, um, the one that sold the NFT for sixty-eight million dollars. What's his name? I can't remember his name. I think of it all the time. Anyways, you know if you use his, I can see how we get sued on that. But you know. But basically, we're gonna have to see about this. I really don't think that's gonna make you know it's not hash lips and the people that own those programs or write those programs gonna own it. So let's go on to the next one. Maybe I switched to the what I was reading. NFT rundown voice. Anyways, this is uh, the article. And let's go to the next one. This is why NFT creators and collectors can't stop talking about artist royalties. Uh, some NFT marketplaces are honoring creator royalties, setting off an animated conversation across crypto Twitter this weekend. Here's what the fuss is all about. What is this? August 15th. Yeah, that's, that's basically recent so anyways basically the, they put this out they're called a pseudo am I don't know how to say that uh, pseudo swap and they don't pay the royalties I, this is it really pissed me off because the whole idea was you get paid royalties you make an art and it's fabulous and it gets sold for like forever perpetuity and you get paid on that. And you give it to your kids. Still get some percentage of that. 
And that's the way it's supposed to be. You don't have to put it in your contract where you get a percentage. But if you do, it's yours. And this is ridiculous. And then I, th I, not, I don't even know how they change it. I thought it was a smart contract. When you put a smart contract, how can they change it? That's the reason you have blockchain. And I'm really mad about this. Y'all need to get back on this and, you know, you're paying these people 5%. And they're also, you know, Solana Marketplace has a ignited similar debate when it lost early this summer without royalties enabled. I have no idea how you can do that. I mean, I, you know, it's a smart contract. You shouldn't be able to change it. Anyways, you know, I think it's $100 and I put 10%. Give me my ten dollars. I shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to. And they're, they're saying you shouldn't have to charge ten percent after. So if it's hundred dollars and you got to pay the artist ten percent, you owe one hundred ten dollars. But you know, I think that is really weird. I mean, if it's a hundred dollars, basically, when you sell it, ninety of it goes to them. That. 10% goes to the artist. Perpetuity. And I'm really upset about this. I mean, they need to fix this suit. Because that's the whole reason it's exciting. I know people own it and stuff like that. But, you know, you get a percentage. Also in music and stuff. You get a percentage. And, uh, anyways, they need to stop doing this. I don't even know why they're doing this on Solana. Uh... And on pseudo swap, what do you think, y'all? Tell me what you think. Do you think you should have to pay the royalties? Should they, if it's hundred dollars, you have to pay extra ten percent on top of it, or you just get, you know, pay them hundred dollars and ten percent goes to the other guy? So they just should think about that when they put the price on there. If they want hundred dollars, they need put it for $110. Anyways, that's what I think. And I think that I can't believe they're doing it. So anyways, go along. Let's go on to the next one. VV. If you're not on VV, how dare you? you got to get on VV. It's so great. It's on the app and stuff. This is the app on VV. And this is like Spider-Man. These are NFTs. But these guys have got, you know, Marvel, Disney, Ghostbusters, uh, Spider-Man, this is Marvel. And I just bought this this week. It just, just recently dropped. And some of them on there are like, I mean, some of them not worth very much money. But they got the contract with these people got DC, Adventure Times. These are contract with these people. So they're actually on there. And it's not just random people making it. So these are big companies doing this. So you know, they got art. So this is something just happened. So I've been buying a lot of comics. And they're like, some are worth money. Some are not. But they come out with this. A lot of them have these different, uh, you know, scarcities. Like, this is the main scarcity. And I think this one over here is, like, the secret rare. And this is, like, a, a ultra, uh, ultra rare or secret rare? Anyways, they're basically, they go up in price. And then this one's, you know... Uh, the basic one, the common one, and they have uncommon. Anyway, so I I was gonna buy this. I'm very upset <laughs> because mostly as I buy, I was like, you know, they go up to. Uh, I didn't get any. I got the close one. I got ultra wear, and I got them up to like thirty dollars or something like that. But some of these ultra wares, they're automatically a hundred more dollars. And some of them, anyways, this one I miss. I miss it. I miss it. Can't believe I missed this. I was taking my kids to Dennis and like, oh, I tell them how much it was. They go, how does it feel to lose $18,000? Oh my God. 
this one up to eighteen thousand dollars for this this one right here eighteen thousand dollars and then like this one was a common one and it was 450 i think this is down to fifteen thousand now but this is 450 i'm so 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 upset about this i'm not going to sit by or buy every comment just in case so what else is this so i mean if you go i just i really wasn't looking up the comments prices i was just buying them because they're cool and, and you know and read them and stuff and they're worth money you know this is i bought this and and this is just one he's just uh he's just this one item so this doesn't have this secret rare and stuff with this one some of them do but the uh, he they're coming out of the movie I think this year sometime I think so I bought this and then I bought this I did, I think I got uh, a regular common it's not really worth a lot of money right now but I got both of them but this comic book on eBay is sixty thousand dollars so I thought I was so sad about that one but it's not worth a lot of money right now not like this one but this comic on ebay is like a hundred thousand dollars or something like that so anyways they so the prices are down a lot so you need to be going on there and buying stuff i don't mean i'm not telling you what to do but this is what i'm doing and a lot of other people are doing and i've got this I, i've got these hulk ones that hope was not worth money for some reason and then i got uh what else you got the she hulk they got this one too i mean they i think this is on uh i have a show on uh, disney i think where you can watch this and um anyways like anyways this is bombing a lot some of these are i mean but when it comes out they're like 6.99 but when they come out, they're, they're not worth a lot of money. Like this one right here, it really isn't worth that much. So, you know, the comm is only like worth a dollar or two right now. But some of them are worth money. But these, like this, be $50, $100 or something like that. Depends on what they are. And this is, you know, I got, uh, you know, Star Wars. And then I got Star Wars... Oh, the Venom right here. It's really worth money. I got Star Wars. Uh, I got an uncommon Star Wars. And it's actually worth more than... Um, I think I got a common. But it's worth more than the uncommon, I think. Like $100 right now. So, anyways. This, they're still keeping doing this. They've got a contract with these people. They're not stopping. And these are on there. And the, you can read these comics. And when these comics are old, uh, you can't read them because it messes them up and stuff like that. So you can go through this perfect comics, not like they scan it on the, you know, on a scanner. I mean, like a copy scanner. This is put in there perfectly, and uh, it's great. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then over here, they got you know, OpenSea. This is a uh, this is what I use out there. I don't own this, but it is Sitcom Ape number 13197. 23 hours and 13 minutes to go by. It is point zero four nine. So it's pretty cool, but it is Spider-Man. And I think it is Homer wearing a Spider-Man suit. I would like to say this. Can we get some apes? This all there is is apes. I mean, they're cool, but damn. There's 5,000 apes on here. And they are cool. But, you know, damn. This is not the only thing that NFT is going to be, just so you know. It's not just this. And y'all got to think deeper than this. It's not just this. What are we going to do in the future? I mean, we're going to have games, skins, where you can buy them and sell them, where nobody owns them. I can't wait for that. You know, 
and you can actually go in and create hearts different skins and sell them yourself and I can't wait for that to come out and uh, I can't wait till they get all this products and the games and share them around so I guess I have different you know some games don't hold a lot of data and stuff like that and some games hold a lot of data that's probably the problem what they're doing but they're gonna figure it out and there's a lot of damn apes on here I mean they're cool but damn a lot of apes anyways and it's robotic ape, cider monkey, board ape, 80s, epic gorilla. I mean, they started it all. But it's not just this. It's not this. It's just not art. It's going to be more. Let's go to more and see what it is. Real estate. Real estate's not just digital real estate. They have that on, you know, some of these games. I mean, they're probably just now coming out. And, they're not very exciting, honestly, but they will update, I guess, and get better. But Station Land has like this. This probably on here is expensive, like eight thousand, two hundred thousand, a million, something like that. It's wild. And this is basically where you go play games. That's fine. The games kind of sucks. Honestly, in my opinion, but you know, whatever. They're coming out with it. I'm sure it'll get better. Poka, Poka City, Super World, Crypto Voxels, Upland have been there. I've been a lot of these. Sandbox have been there. But right here, Fraction. This is Fraction. This is what I'm talking about. Traction, a new real estate firm on the Ethereum blockchain that has been properly licensed by the Thailand SEC. The company aims to make investing in property more accessible for everyone with a 150 minimum purchase requirement, even a part of premium real estate products. A plug and play platform with invest party assets, small stakes, private funds. This is advantage because it means that a platform has been designed to your needs and goals of mine. This is not what I meant to say, but let's go to the next one. But it's this one right here. Yeah, this one. The real T is a real estate firm that pro that has properties located in the United States, such as Chicago, Detroit, East Cleveland. It offers cost-effective, simplifies investments by eliminate the need for paper deeds. With the use of a Ethereum blockchain, you can fractionally invest in real-world properties through in their NFTs called real tokens. Owning properties on this platform allows you to collect rental payments on a weekly basis. Alternatively, alternatively you can also cash out your investment anytime you want through your online portal that is great you know what I'm saying like this BB you can go and sell it you go when you're collecting this you just go up there and sell it. like you have a little part where you just upload and say you want to sell it if you have it for a million dollars it may not sell for years and years and years it may not ever sell but you go down there at the low part of it and put the minimum bid it's going to sell and you don't have to deal with nothing you don't have to touch nothing it's awesome so they're doing the same as this let's say apartment building we got 3,000 residents and they have different tokens they split up the tokens like 100,000 tokens and split them up evenly and basically, and I guess when the real estate goes up, the 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 tokens probably go up, but you get a rental payments off that. It's like a passive income. That is great. I cannot wait to see to get some of this stuff because I mean, let's say every 
rental property in the world could be put on blockchain and people invest in it and if they don't want to invest in it they sell it go back on just put it on eBay it's not eBay but you know on real tea and sell it that's great that's so great and property property I've been want to invest in this company too but property is a real estate pro uh, company but let's read it uh, pop Powered by Web3 technology, Property is a one-stop shop for all your real estate needs. From finding homes on the com comprehensive list to owning them and even us nego negotiating deals with the sellers. They've got it all covered. So, I don't know if you know about buying homes, but when you go to buy homes, you got to, I think there's a, a place that goes and then basically research the property and see who owns what, where the deeds are, if there's any kind of liens on it and stuff like that. And it takes a lot of time. And anyways, the NFTs, this, this blockchain NFTs, it's going to put so many people out of jobs. Because when all this is done, it's going to be on the blockchain. So everything... On that property, it's going to be on blockchain. So, in my opinion, you know, the deeds, loans, anything is going to be on blockchain. There's going to be instant. You're going to have to have the middleman to go and search for that stuff. So, basically, you go in there and buy it's NFTs. Same thing. The house is going to be an NFT. Your deeds going to be an NFT. I, I work for insurance agencies, like a big insurance agency, um, like, you know, a State Farm and stuff like that. I work for them independently. But anyways, they are using blockchain. So basically, it, whenever you go and get paid, you get, a lot of times you have to get a check mailed to you. It takes seven days or something like that. Well, now they can do digital blockchain uh, payments. I don't think they're paying on blockchain right now, but they're selling it on the back end and it goes so much faster for everybody and it makes them run their business faster and probably they don't need all those people in the middle to collect the money and uh, slows it, makes them go faster. So this is a big deal, dude. Um, just a big deal. I mean, just like when the internet came out, you know, people lost a lot of jobs, but people train for something new or they retire. But, you know, at least, I mean, now we can invest in real estate like that and get a percentage. I mean, you have to be wealthy enough to go buy houses, buy apartment complexes, be able to invest in uh, uh, stocks and stuff, the, you know, IPOs, before the IPOs. You got to be rich to do that stuff. But this is, you know, you don't have to buy a lot of them. You're going to buy one. You may not get that much money, but if you can buy a bunch of them, you're going to get more money. And that's just great. Y'all tell me down below, you know, what do you think about that? And do you plan on buying some properties and stuff like this? Get paid? Um, what else is there? I, I don't know if you know, but, you know, basically they're going to go and, like, Tesla stock. Tesla stock, I think it's $1,000. I don't know what it is. But, basically... They're going to fractionalize it. So basically, NFTs. All those NFTs are going to be, let's just say, uh, topped up a thousand times. And to the, the NFT token is being worth less. I think it's called NFT when they do that. But, anyways, it's not a thousand dollars. You can buy parcels of the stocks. And they're going to do that with everything. Think about it. I mean, think about something that I've been talking about and tell me what it is. 
You can sit there and think about this stuff. It's endless. And I want to know everything you know that I'm not telling you. Let's go to the next one. What is this? NFTs provide funding for a film project. So basically, okay, let's, let's read it. Selling NFTs rated money for movie production is becoming increasingly popular among both experienced executives who want to disrupt conventional funding, projects, and independent directors who just need money. The Forest Road Company has locked a $20 million NFT fund to assist any filmmakers to monetize their material. Similar developments are taking place in other parts of the film business. So, I mean, you go basically, you want to see that movie? You want to spend some money on it and get paid whenever, when it gets going, it gets popular. And if it doesn't get popular, you're going to lose money, but you get to invest in it. And that's great, dude. So great. What else? And music. Music. You can just put your make of art and music and get royalty from that. You can get, you can make some kind of noise on TikTok and get paid for that. It's endless, endless, endless. So I don't think that the NFT is on its dead end. It's just low. Everything's low right now. Follows the Bitcoin, the stock market. You know, the stock market's crashing and stuff like that. The raising interest rates. So it's going to go back up. I'm going to invest now. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I'm doing. And, um... So, what do you think? You think it's um, the dead end for crypto, or no, you don't think so? Anyways, so this is the world we're run on crypto. And this is another reason the world we're run on crypto. NFTs. There's so much stuff that has gone over that's going to run on crypto. And I think it all eventually will be tied to crypto. Everything. Alright, y'all leave a message in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Peace.